everybody, welcome to Whiskey Whistle. I'm the host of the show, Mark, and you're watching Whiskey Review number 181. What's that going to be? Well, it is, this is the MacMurra series, and this is MacMurra Moment Tov. I'll put a picture of the bottle up here for you. And uh, this is a very, very special one, expressly chosen by the amazing master blender of MacMurra known as Angela Dorazio. Uh, so, Angela, if you're watching, thanks very much for that one. Unfortunately, a bit of leakage on the way uh, from, from Sweden over here. Uh, and again, this is a press sample. And uh, thanks again to uh, Miss Lisa Collins for arranging all of that. And again, I'm sorry I couldn't take part in the uh, Twitter tasting as uh, this arrived a day late. Um, get that opened. Now, uh, I have to tell you, I didn't pay for the whiskey up front, uh, although I paid for it at the back end here in Korea, where you have to really uh, pay a lot of taxes uh, for whiskey. So um, I guess I paid roughly, oh, about $8 uh, per sample for these. Uh, so I can, I can claim that I've paid for it. Uh, so it's still a very independent review. And this time we're using the Yellow Band and the Kilt Lifter Scotch Club. Shout out to Darren from Winnipeg, uh, a Scotsman living in Winnipeg who uh, does a lot of uh, uh, huge events in, in Winnipeg for whiskey and also for wine. So a shout out to him. And I'll pour a little bit more. Okay. So there it is. Uh, natural color. This one's 47% ABV. And let me tell you just a little bit more about that one. Very nice smell. Try that. Try putting a little bit of your whiskey on your palms and rubbing it in your hands and see what kind of scents you get. Okay, and the uh, Moment Tav, as it's known. This is first fill bourbon only, and it's 12 years old. This whiskey is from 2004, and it's from some of the first casks ever to move to uh, the uh, Bodas Mine, 50 meters below ground. After 12 years of maturation, this whiskey now finally sees the light of day again. The result is an elegant whiskey with soft notes of toasted oak. <clears throat> now, uh, being underground, uh, what would happen? Well, um, the temperature will be more regulated. So, uh, Sweden, uh, just like uh, where I'm from in Canada, uh, very similar to Scotland also, has uh, rather warm uh, temperatures in the summer. Maybe not that warm in Sweden, probably around 20 would be about maximum. And then rather cold winters, probably um, down to about zero or minus five in the winter for Sweden. Um, so being underground, uh, the temperature will the temperature fluctuation will be minimized. And uh, what will that do? Uh, well, um, that will allow the whiskey, the uh, I believe the spirit to have much more of an impact uh, on the aging. Than the wood itself, that's one thing. And um, uh, perhaps uh, being underground also, it'll be a little bit cooler than general. Uh, so I believe what happens is you will lose to the angels, the angels share as the uh, cask uh, spends year to year maturing, you lose some volume from uh, evaporation going through the pores and out of the cask. Uh, so cooler climates, I believe that uh, you'll lose a little bit, a little bit more alcohol than than uh, than water. Um, so the whiskey will get softer. So this is forty seven percent. So probably it's getting close to cask strength. I'm guessing maybe uh, fifty one, fifty two might have been cask strength for uh, for this one. And um, uh, perhaps. Uh, uh, Angela, the master blender, maybe she can let me know if uh, if, if I'm on, on the money there, because I think I am. All right, so uh, the Kilt Lifters Scotch Club, that's my first Glencairn glass. My set, no, that's my second Glencairn glass. 
My first one is probably one of these here. Uh, that's from Jason in Winnipeg again. Cheers, Jason. Some uh, Scottish, no, some Scottish, some, s <laughs> oh, S's. Swedish single malt here, 12 year old, known as Moment Tog. Oh, big, big nose. Really, really potent. It comes off as a uh, cask strength, as, uh, as I would have guessed. Yes, very big on the oak, uh, but also very big on the bourbon. So, vanillas and cinnamons. If you're American and you love bourbon, this would be a great Swedish single malt for you. Mmm. Vanilla, cinnamon. Again, maybe still some green fruits in there. Maybe, again, some Korean meshe. Pear. Pear, but not right pear. All right. Let's get on to the palate now. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. Oh, wow. Isn't that lovely? Very rich, oily mouthfeel. Vanilla, cinnamon, yes. Also, a lot of fruitiness here. Um, green grapes, mango, Korean persimmons. Some nuttiness also. Still getting that little bit of a walnut and cashew nut, pistachio. Hmm. Hmm. Then it develops quite dry, and the finish is a dry, fruity, um, oak rich, vanilla rich, just a, can I call it a fruit bomb? The finish is extremely fruity. Uh, and that is really interesting coming from a, a bourbon cask. First fill bourbon, right? Yeah. Hmm. Mm, I have not tasted this amount of um, of a bourbon effect. The only other whiskey I've ever noticed that's been quite like this was um, a certain um, space cider, which was uh, all natural in color, no, an unchill filtered, and uh, cask strength, and 16 years old. And, uh, well, this is getting, you know, 12 years old, not that far away from 16. Bit of a jump there, but I'd love to try those two side by side. Uh, you probably can guess which one I'm talking about, because I think there's only one from Speyside uh, that's unchill filtered, uh, no color added, cask strength, and 16 years old, which is no longer in production. Hmm. Very syrupy, very bold, very um, brash. Let's add some water here. Yeah, we can add that much. That's about two milliliters of water added to about a 20 milliliter serve. <clears throat>
much milder, much smoother, um, fruitier nose now. And I'm still getting some nuts there. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, those nuts. This now reminds me of a 12 year old from uh, Space Side. No, not from Space Side, from Isla, but an unpeated 12 year old. Um, can I name it? I think I can name it. That's uh, Buna Haben. So, Buna Haben, 12 year old, uh, very similar to, uh, to this. Pardon me, this 12 year old, um, uh, the uh, Makmura moment Talb, as it's known, um, very similar to uh, the uh, Bunahaven 12. Now, I know that those have different casts altogether, but the fruitiness of this um, is just really shining here. The pears have really ripened. Still getting some green grape uh, peeled, however. Vanilla and cinnamon still present. And a bit nutty as well. Onto the palate with water. Cheers. Oh, wow. Really, really, really elegant. Hats off to uh, Angela Dorazio for this one. Um, oh, just so rich. It's very rich, very vanilla rich, custardy rich, with all of these fruits in there. And um, yes, there's still quite a, a strong uh, oak influence flavor that's coming through, which is presenting itself as nutty uh, and cinnamon and a bit of nutmeg. A little bit of cardamom even. Oh yeah. Caraway. In the finish, I'm getting a hint of caraway in the, uh, uh, coming through as well alongside all those fruits. So it's kind of like, um, well, I think I did have in Denmark, uh, kind of a, a strawberry pudding that had um, just a little bit of uh, caraway added to it. Um, ooh, interesting. Oh, I really don't want to dip much more into that. But we're going to add just a, t a touch more for that. There we go. Ooh. Well, definitely my favorite so far. No doubt. And going back to the first edition again. So that was the first edition from MacMara. Um, I don't think that was their first edition as in the first release. Uh, but they called it the first edition. Um, I think it was the first one that was sort of sent out uh, around the world. Um, this was also in the uh, the mine. Um, anyway, no date on there. All right, so that's the original first edition, 5% Swedish casks. Uh, 95, I guess, American oak. It's really interesting having having <clears throat> this one, having sat there for hour, uh, but an hour and some, uh, is very much Swedish Scandinavian in scent. Uh, ginger, uh, ginger cookies, ginger thins, the thin um, uh, little ginger cookies that, they, that, that you get in Scandinavia. I forget what they're called. 
Uh, Anna's makes uh, some of those. So I'm getting Anna's biscuits here. I can still smell the youth of it though. And then on to the 10 year old now. So this is probably a uh, double in age. Much more fruity. A lot more vanilla also. And very nutty. And that's what's reminding me of the, the, um, the Bunahaven 12 year old. Mmm. God, I almost drank it all again. Now that's the beauty of what I do. It's okay if I swallow it. If you are the master blender like Angela Thorazio, uh, you're probably not swallowing. You're going to be spitting because you have a hundred or more whiskeys to taste every day. Uh, so the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for uh, Moment Tov by Macmura. Uh, that one is going to be 91 out of 100. 91 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for Macmura Whiskey Moment Tov. 47% ABV. I highly recommend this. Uh, it is gorgeous whiskey. It's well aged. Definitely Swedish and definitely amazing. So give that one a try. Uh, stay tuned for the next review. That's going to be the uh, uh, Svensk Rock. Okay, stay tuned for that one. Don't forget to subscribe to Whiskey Whistle. Follow on Twitter, uh, Instagram. Like the Facebook page, Whiskey Whistle. And if you're Korean also, subscribe to Whiskey Whistle Korea, uh, the new YouTube channel that I've just, just started uh, this week. Okay? Take care now and stay tuned. We'll see you next time.